la pizza. Bonjour tout le monde. Kia ora. Namaste. Aloha. Half a day. Radio New Zealand International, the voice of the Pacific. Radio New Zealand News at 9 o'clock. I'm Paul Brennan. Good evening. Afghanistan's government says a United States deal to free five high-ranking Taliban militants in exchange for a U.S. soldier violates international law because of the transfer of the men from a Guantanamo Bay jail to Qatar. The five prisoners were flown to Qatar as part of the agreement to release Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, held captive for five years. Sergeant Bergdahl is now in a military hospital in Germany. The Prime Minister says it's now likely a first ever All Blacks test will be played in Samoa as the Pacific Island pushes for more international exposure. Mr Key says there have been positive signals from the New Zealand Rugby Union but the All Blacks have a busy schedule and next year is a World Cup year. The vote for the hosting of the 2022 Football World Cup must be rerun if corruption allegations surrounding Qatar's winning campaign are proved to be accurate, according to Lord Goldsmith, a member of FIFA's Independent Governance Committee. A British newspaper claims it has evidence that around $5 million was paid to officials in return for votes for Qatar's successful bid. Allegations organisers have vehemently denied. Spain's Prime Minister has just announced that King Juan Carlos is to abdicate and that Crown Prince Felipe will take over the throne. The Labour Party has chosen a senior public servant, Penny Henare, as its candidate for the Tamaki Makoto seat. Mr. Henare has worked for the Social Development Ministry since 2001 and is also a trustee of Ngati Hine Forestry Trust. The manager of the All Blacks has been recognised for services to rugby in the Queen's Birthday Honours. Darren Shand is to become an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit. And the veteran Radio New Zealand broadcaster and historian Jim Sullivan has been recognised with the Queen's Service Medal. Mr Sullivan, who's been on the air for more than 50 years, has presented the Sunday Night Sounds historical programme from Dunedin since 1992. He says he's pleased to be recognised for his contribution to New Zealand, telling its own stories and history. That's the news. Nicky Lee is a Swedish singer-songwriter who's made a big, long player of classic pop. Little Dragon is a band from Gothenburg with their own take on electronica, pop,